Hey guys, Andy Tran here with the Inner Brock Outdoors channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. I do two videos a week on the outdoor survival, do it yourself and reviews. And in this video, I'm gonna be doing a review on this uh, pretty neat little survival shovel. Uh, it just so happens to be the most expensive shovel on Amazon. It utilizes a few different things. Obviously it is a shovel that has an articulating head. So you can use it more like a pick, ax and things like that. So that's kind of got some cool features. And then on the blade itself, uh, you have a couple different options for chopping. And then in the handle, there's some uh, survival knives and other small tools that you might need while you're out in the field. So go ahead, sit back, relax, and enjoy the review. So from the factory, this thing comes dull. How dull is dull? Well, the camera can pick up the edge. To me, that's pretty dull. And I can run my finger on that and I can move really fast. And aside from my finger getting warm, uh, nothing's gonna happen. And the quote unquote battle axe side is just a little bit sharper than that. So maybe it's a safety for shipping thing, but what I'm gonna do is grab my file and I'm gonna zap the edges and hopefully get this thing working so I can at least test the functionality. It didn't come with the carry case or any sort of sheath, so there's nothing to protect you from the edge once I put it on there. Let's go ahead and do a chopping test. The blade itself is curved, so it doesn't want to track straight. This results in sort of like a deflecting motion once you're chopping. It also makes your hands hurt because the shock is sent through the metal handle. And for a comparison, I wanted to show you how a normal axe cuts. Let's do a close-up comparison. This is the first part that I tried to do with the survival shovel. And then this is the rest that I did with the regular ax. And, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to game it towards the side of the ax. And you can just tell by how the fibers of the wood are more crushed with the shovel than sliced through with the ax. But, you know, there's, there's quite a bit of difference. So. This is already a piece of wood that I split last year and just pulled from the pile. I'm just really curious to see how this thing's actually gonna split. Um, it's got kind of a convex shape to it, so that's kind of cool. Um, so let's just give it a go. It splits. All right, so one thing that I found with this thing is that, um, you know, after a lot of like hitting on it, it gets kind of tight. So I found that if you wedge it into a log or something, then you can more easily untwist it. So let's check out this knife. So there's no sharpened tip to this thing. It's just pointy. So there's no, there's no edge to there, but there is an edge there sort of on the recurve section so let's see if this thing can feather which it can all right so we're going to use the ferro rod that's built into the handle to light up these curls and uh should be Right here. Let's move this out of the way a little bit. All 
All right. So it's supposed to be attached to there. And there's the rest of it. Um, so I guess that's kind of the nature of having something that's inside of a handle is that um, if you're going to be doing any sort of chopping, which when you advertise this as an ax, that's kind of bound to happen. Um, there's that possibility of something breaking like that. So we're going to try and make do with what we got because this is going to happen in the field. So let's put that aside. Uh, there's no included striker for this thing, so I'm just going to use the knife for this guy. And uh, try and make it work. It's worth mentioning that I've used many ferro rods in the past, and this one is at the lower end of the spectrum. Normally, it'd take only a few strikes to light one of these curls. It wants to go. I can see that embers starting to devour it. There we go. Ah, just kidding. It's a little bit windy here, folks. F it. I would say the ferro rod is not very good. The knife, it doesn't hold an edge. Um, and then I feel like it's not finished because the tip is not um, not sharp in there. Yeah, so you got an edge there, but then seems like they missed a step when getting that. Next, we'll test the shovel's ability to dig. Using the articulating head and turning this thing more into a pickaxe or a hoe, this thing is quite effective at breaking through this rotten log. So, that is my honest review of this shovel. Um, is it worth over $200? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, truly not. Um, you know, the, the best part about this whole thing is how sturdy the shaft is, and that's kind of where it ends. Um, in terms of like the shovel head, you can't carry that much material with it. Uh, it does pierce really well though, and if you're using it like a pickaxe, if you're uh, digging through uh, some hard dirt or ice, rock and roll there. Uh, didn't have any failures or loosening up of the actual head, so that's a good thing. Um, but that's kind of where it ends. Uh, the knife is pretty much useless. The ferro rod broke in the handle, although I kind of foresaw that happening. Um, and it's uh, because it's a solid, or not solid, but since it's a, such a strong piece of uh, metal for the shaft, all that energy goes right into your hands. So, you know, when you're chopping, doing all that stuff, it actually uh, breaks down on your hands quite a bit. So uh, it's not very comfortable to use. Uh, it doesn't chop very well. It digs okay. It breaks up dirt really well. And, uh, you know, it can split some wood. So, you know, for the same price and the same exact weight, you're better off getting like a small hatchet and then the uh, survival shovel or the, the spec op shovel that Cold Steel uses. Um, for those, you'd still probably be about $100 under what this costed, about the same weight, and then it's actually packable. Because like I mentioned um, in the close-ups, this thing did not come with the cover and it does not fold all the way flat. So, you know, just things to consider. Um, would I suggest this again? Heck no. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. If you guys have any comments or questions, you can go ahead and message me direct, either through Facebook or Instagram or direct below in the comments. But as always, take care out there, bye.